a palpable way, environmentalism provides the foundation of an alternative religion or worldview to those who reject Christianity. One might argue that radical environmentalism is becoming the central organizing principle of the world community. It is a religion with a vision of sin and repentance, heaven and hell. It even has a special vocabulary with words like sustainability and carbon neutral. Its communion is organic food. Its sacraments are sex, abortion, and when all else fails, sterilization. Its saints are Al Gore and the IPCC. Food is no longer a private matter. As far as food is concerned, writes Princeton professor Peter Singer, the great extravagance is not caviar or truffles, but beef, pork, and poultry. How convenient. Caviar eaters can presumably slay all the sturgeon babies they wish and fly on private jets guilt-free. There is a carbon credit or some such penance for those with cash to burn. But those in the third world who would like a mouthful of beef, pork or poultry, they are the real gluttons and world destroyers. Let them eat cake. Let them run their cars on biofuel made from wine, like Britain's Prince Charles. Let them eat caviar. <laughs> <laughs>